Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we completed uh, most things at the bedroom. And with this episode, we could... Well, actually, I think we are going to move on um, to the engine room dome, okay? And yes, I do realize there's a couple stars that I can still get around the bedroom and kitchen area. I will be getting those, however, I don't want to yet. Um, the reason is, the reason for this is that, uh, I want to, the reason I'm not going back to free flame just yet is not because I absolutely hate it there, which hey, I do, but, but it's mainly because, well, I want to, how do I put this, I want to, uh, I want to have it with a later mission because if I have it with a later mission, it'll be like it, it'll make a lot more sense if I have it just done with a later mission because there is a later mission in the game that will make the one of Freeze Flame seem a lot um it'll make it seem a lot like similar than you know to what it is already. Um yeah, welcome to Gold Leaf Galaxy though. No, I'm not talking about that. Right here, we just got a ripoff of Honey Hive Galaxy. Everything in this galaxy is a ripoff of something, or everything in this dome is a ripoff of something. As you can see here, we got the L of Star Bits, which in Honey Hive, we had the M of Star Bits. So they're just going to be copying us left and right here, okay? I'm looking for blue starships with my brothers, but we haven't found any. So, uh, he's saying right there that. Him and his brothers are looking for some blue star chips. You got a bee right here, it's telling us about the swing. Swing is pretty much the funnest thing ever. Okay, we go up here with it and boom! Where's this blue star chip? Now, a really easy trick to this mission, if you um can't if you just suck at finding things, is uh wherever there's gonna be a blue star chip wherever one of these bunnies are. So, yeah, that's a pretty easy trick for you. And boom, and boom, and go back, and boom. Okay, that gives us a little sling star, and we get that. We go over here, there's another bunny. I can smell the blue star star chip boiling. There it is! And uh, we still have a couple more bunnies that we need to find, of course. So, we'll go and find those guys. The bunnies seem to be looking for something. Well, doy. I mean, gosh, it's pretty obvious. This bunny over here. Well, blue star chips. Well, yeah, see, right here, everything in the engine room dome is a ripoff of some galaxy that we've already seen. I know that sounds pretty strange, but that is the truth. Guys, the engine room dome is the most unoriginal dome ever. Uh, is there one by him over here? I'm pretty sure there might be. Oh no, but there's one up here. Okay, so, yeah, um, the engine room dome. Very unoriginal place. I mean, Miyamoto just like gave up on creativity with this one, I guess. Or something like that, guys. I'm not for sure. Of course, I didn't get it. And boom! Just because he told me to. Alright, so we go up here. And hey, it's the last bunny. Telling us. It's over here, boing. Well, he's actually gonna be right. He kill the Wiggler because we can, and let's step on him just so he doesn't get mad at us for hurting him in the first place. And hey, better we kill him now than like wait for him to get mad about it, right? Right, guys? Oh, do oh, dang it. Okay, so hey, look, coins. These coins are actually leading you under here, under the bridge. Uh, to the water under the bridge. <laughs> to the one up under there, so. Yeah, not that you really need that one up in the first place, but hey. It's good to 
have. Um, this guy is just crawling with one ups too. It's ridiculous. The last starship though is right up here, and that causes all that to appear. All right, let's get a good flying start here. Oh no! Okay, whatever, I'll go back to regular Mario. I don't even care anymore. Whatever, I don't even care anymore. Um, alright, let's launch Star out of here. <laughs> yeah, but the interim dome, though, dome, though, is the start of uh, missions that are gonna get pretty long. So here we have another ridiculous bunny catch to do if we what does that do anyways uh if we get this though it makes it so the water appears so he will slow down um for you to catch him because believe me this one you're actually probably gonna need it ha <laughs> yeah this guy's a jerk and see look at that we already caught him well then you got me all right then take this And the star appears. You smash all these and just get some simple easy star bits. Simple as that. The Mario Kart bricks. See, everything in this dome so far is unoriginal. And it gets even more unoriginal than that. Like, seriously, it's ridiculous. I mean, come on, Nintendo. Okay, mission number two Cataquack to the Skies. Now they're ripping off Super Mario Sunshine! Like, seriously, guys! Are you kidding me right now? That's bullcrap! That is bull crap. bullcrap! Okay, guys, I don't even care. Whatever. Alright, so here we got uh, the bees now. They're all here. My pet cat effect chucks me into the air whenever I want. Whee! So, yeah. I, I really do like this galaxy. It's just, you no. Know, even though it is a ripoff, complete ripoff of Honey Hive, it's still a pretty cool galaxy. It really is. So yeah, this is just as the name and title. It's just Cataclysm to the Skies. So I'm assuming we're gonna have to use these Cataclysms to go up to the skies. I'm, I'm just taking a guess there. Oh boy. Yes, this mission. This mission is just uh. It's Cataquax. It's just not that great. Um, as we all know Cataquax are just jerks to us. We've known this since Mario Sunshine, I think. Yeah. Hey, whatever. Um, all right, that's the first planet. So they made the first part pretty easy. Again, really not that big. Then we got this Cataquax that we're gonna have to make him. We're gonna have to lead him. And we're gonna have to, you know, use these cataclysms in all the places. Here we have a ripoff of Gusty Garden Galaxy. Yeah, they rip off everything in this freaking galaxy. It's like ridiculous. All right, here we have a cataclysm chase that we need to lead him through this entire Rubik's Star Trek. We have to lead him through like this entire little Rubik's cube thing. And would you not know? That would have really sucked if I would have just completely screwed that up. Oh! oh, hey, I heard him. <laughs> okay, I think you're actually supposed to go this way, is it? Yeah. Okay, come on, catty, 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 quacky. Come on, catty, catty, quacky. Okay, I deserve for him to chuck me up since I said that. Catty, quack, come on. Alright. This is very annoying with all the catty, quacks everywhere. I tell you, I kid you not, this mission sucks. Like, I don't want to do this mission. Of course, I have to, since I'm over 100% the game. Otherwise, I'd be done with the game by now. Uh, where? How do I do, even get him? Alright, come on, Caddy. How do you get him up there? Alright. Clearly, I knew it's up right. I'm gonna kill all the Goombas just so that I don't get in the way. But it's clear that I'm not doing something. Where is this? What is this? 
Come on! Dude! This is bullcrap right here. Right here, man. Alright, Mario! Gravity! Alright, Caddy Quack, come with me. Seriously, this is getting to be really ridiculous. This way? No, oh, did I do it right? I think I did not. Back this way, Caddy. Come on, Caddy. Caddy Quackers. Get away from me, get away, get away, get away, get away. Are you kidding me? Freaking jeez. Come on, Caddy Caddy. Come on, Caddy Quackers. Come on, Caddy Quack. Caddy Quackers. This way, dummy. Ugh. Thank you. Holy crap, that was really annoying. So, yeah. This mission sucks, Um, as we all know already. I hate this mission. No. Go. The other... No! Are you kidding me right now? Alright, go over here. Would you hit me up in the- Thank you! Holy crap! That was really, really, really annoying. Alright. Here we have, um, some more annoyingness that we're gonna have to deal with here. They just- This- They- They made it now that, um, the missions are getting just so tedious and just so annoying. Holy crap. No! What? What? Stop it, Catequack! Alright. Now we have these guys. Alright, on the water side. I recommend just taking them out just so they don't get to be an annoying annoyance because believe me, they will. Um, as you all know. Ha <laughs> That's an 8-bit starbit ring, or 8 starbit ring, right there. 8-bit starbit! Alright, let's do our homing ground pound and just kill you. Urgh. Kill him! Jeez, old Pete! Could not catch a prank today. Alright, come on, get quiet. This way. This way, this way. Thank you, Catters. Now come on. This way. Now, hit me up there. Okay. Please tell me I can make this. No! Ugh! Stupid bee! Alright, this way, Catters. Catters. Cats and Quackens. Alright, thank you, that wasp thing is gone. Jeez, that was annoying. Now let's just go over here and please end this ridiculously annoying mission off. Ugh, god. Yeah. Obviously, if you lose your bee form, you're screwed. So don't lose your bee form to these wasps. Alright, that would be very bad, like... I couldn't even, oh god, I'd get pretty mad at that. And now we have spinning, just keep spinning, just keep spinning, just keep spinning, and get the star. Thank you, we are done. Oh my gosh. That mission was very annoying, guys. Holy crap, that was bad. Alright, and now that we're done with that, how about we end it off for now, okay? I think next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we are gonna continue Gold Leaf, get a couple of remaining things that are there, okay? But first, before we go, I do want to show something off really quick. And that is that over here, if you go this way, um, there's gonna be a Hungry Luma over here at some point. But there's also this that takes you right back to... Down here by this couch. That's the comfiest. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.